There has been some drama on Twitter when it comes to should you play with masked attributes, should you play with attributes visible on Football Manager, should you be an ultra hardo and play with no attributes visible at all? Now turn the, turn the lights back on. Thank you. I, <laughs> I just love being able to do that. And a lot of people have been getting flamed on Twitter either way, for whichever way they want to stand up on this, whether you should play without attribute masking or with attribute masking on or, or whatever. Jack summed this up best. The realism argument around attribute masking and football manager is pointless. If I was a real manager, I'd load up football manager 22 and check the attributes of players in the database for players with attribute masking off. Checkmate. He kind of has a point. I think attribute masking is stupid. Here's why. If you're sitting there going, what in heaven's name is he talking about? You can actually determine whether you can see all the player's attributes or not see all the player's attributes in any given save. What I mean is that I play with attribute masking on, which means if I am scouting a player, let me go to my scouting priorities and click on a player that I haven't scouted a bunch before. I am given ranges for certain things, how well you've scouted them, how, well, how high your knowledge is on that player determines how many ranges there are and how large the ranges are, right? But you narrow in on the attributes over time. It's the only way I knew you could play the game for a while. But if we go through the process of starting a career and we go down to the bottom right, you can actually disable attribute masking. If you hover over it, it's got a predictably long explanation of what this does, but that actually gets rid of attribute masking on every player in the game. For example, the network save where I play against Dr. Benji, work the space in the Lujo, that doesn't have attribute masking on so that scouting is faster. It allows you to play the game quicker and honestly just makes a lot more sense. The reason this conversation started is the Football Manager Twitter account actually tweeted out that 29% of people play in that way that I play on the network game with completely visible attributes and 71% play on hidden. This is no small part because I didn't know this was an option for a long time. So I played the game and got used to it on hidden before I knew that visible was available, but visible really just saves you time. And it's also on the opposite end of the spectrum of option number three, which in my last video, you actually see people playing on skins that actually remove attributes for the game. This is something the game does not offer as an option. In the game, you have to know how to download skins, which is honestly one of the simplest things you'll ever do on a computer. But if you can accomplish that, you can get a skin that will give you no attributes. I've already said attribute masking is kind of stupid, but which one is the best? Which one should you play? I have a very exact answer for you. It doesn't matter. It's never mattered. And most importantly, most importantly, nobody cares. We don't care. Let me tell you. <laughs> it is a video game. Ruins the aspect of scouting. That's wrong. We'll get to that in a second. <laughs> Shout out to my boy Muhammad here. Wait, there's an option for visible attributes? Yes. <laughs> Muhammad, that is why we are here. Visible attributes seem unrealistic to me. It's like you're born with 100% of knowledge of all things. <laughs> you can get it in like three weeks. Worse than save scumming, which if you don't know, that is losing a match, leaving the game, and then going back into a save point before the match to play the game again. That, no, no. But even if you want to do that, it's a video game. It's a video game I spend a lot of time trying to teach people how to play so they can get into. And honestly, 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 nobody, nobody cares. But what people might care about are the perks and downsides of all three. So that is what we are going to root through this stuff and why the, the, the masking that I play with is actually stupid. We'll start with what my boy said here. Chris said, literally no need for scouts. And look, that's just objectively false. I had never played with visible attributes on before, but you realize how important your scouts are. They're important for two things, hidden attributes and potential, which honest to goodness, what are you often waiting for your scouts to figure out in the first place, even when you have attribute masking on? You're waiting for them to figure out hidden attributes and potential, which then makes the exercise of uh, the extra scouting stuff tedious. It makes it tedious and repetitive. And maybe I like the pain, but that doesn't mean att attribute masking is right. It doesn't remove the need for scouts to be in the game in the first place because they're still doing a lot of important work. You know what else does a lot of work? Manscaped. Oh yeah. Oh say can you see? It's a Manscaped dad. They've been a long time sponsor of this channel and they've got some great new products rolling out around the 4th of July. Of course, most of you don't celebrate, but you can now because you're honorary. Because Manscaped's here to make sure that your stars and stripes are spangling on America's day. And you can get it all for 20% off and free shipping at the link down in the description. What can you get? That would be the performance package for 
2.0. It's got the lawnmower trimmer for your whole body, something that I would generally be familiar with as somebody that physically identifies and is often identified as Sasquatch or a bear. The weed whacker for the hard to reach places like nose, ears, the crop preserver, which is deodorant for your body. You get special boxer briefs and a travel bag to hold all the goodies. The good news is the lawnmower is now waterproof with the same great blades and everything. So it gets a nice close shave and you don't have to make a mess all over your bathroom floor. So it's time to take your freedom bells to the next level by getting free shipping and 20% off at the link down in the description. This makes the massive advantage of not masking attributes time. You save a boatload of time. You save a ridiculous amount of time. But I will push back on one thing people said. It's the same as managers in real life, like what Jack said here. Unsurprisingly, work the space, despite being funny and awesome, is wrong. Because unlike managers in real life that get to look at it, I know he's probably joking here, but we will take this seriously because we are breaking down Twitter drama. <laughs> What have we become? Are we to YouTube? At what point do you become the bad guy? I'll have an existential crisis later. Back to... <sighs> the managers in real life don't actually have those attributes affect their player's performance on the field. They're just a guide. Where in the game itself, those attributes are directly affecting the majority of your player's performance on the field. They're just being aided by the hidden attributes that you still, of course, can't see. So it's not a 100% you can always get the right answer situation, but you can get the right answer faster. But if you consider a lot of that other stuff tedious, which it is, because after a little bit of scouting, you are able to get the relevant attributes of all players. That is the greatest pitfall to playing the game with attributes revealed. Because now I've taken over the Brisbane Roar. I'm going to go into the player search and we've got 912 players in the player search. Well, if I search all of those players that my club happens to have knowledge of for 15 acceleration and agility, I now can see all of the players that meet that criteria immediately. And this is a temptation that I am not good. I'm not a good enough soul to resist. I will immediately start searching for amazing 15, 16 year old players that just came in through the youth intake based off of a quick player search and the criteria. If you can resist that urge, honestly, the best way to play the game is without attribute math because you are able to get through the game so much faster and you still have very important critical decisions to make. But now let's talk about playing with attribute masking. For that, we're going to head back to my save with Florence Dorfer AC that we've been playing on Twitch by myself and I'm not hanging out with my friends. Just kidding, I'm hanging out with you guys. And you can see after a couple of years of playing the save, we go to our player search and honestly, it's the same thing. But what have I had to deal with throughout the course of the entire save? Probably hundreds and hundreds of hours. I'm not kidding. Clicking through the weekly scouting reports that based on off of my just absolutely obsessive mind is the best way to scout while playing football manager. But while I'm playing the network game, I don't have to deal with nearly as many of those because your scouts are able to work through players faster. And I'm going to be perfectly honest. If I'm somebody that plays this game as a job and I'm sitting here telling you that it is just more fun to play the game and it moves along a little faster without attribute masking on as long as you can resist the urge to look for incredible young players in the player search, then it is more fun to play game that way unless the one advantage of attribute masking it's the way i've always played the game i fell in love with football manager with attribute masking it's a part of the game for me and i think it's probably time that i looked in the mirror as somebody that plays football manager as a living and admitted that i like a little pain in my life and attribute masking provides that little bit of pain without going into super realism which would drive me insane which of course is your third option the no attribute skin. I said earlier you need to download a skin to do this. After some Googling, because I'd literally never even looked this stuff up before, you don't even need a new skin to do this. You just go into preferences, you go to the top and you type in skin, you go to skin colors, show advanced settings, and you take this column and you set all of them to zero. That's all you need to do, and then you reload the skin. That option is not there. You need to go into your interface, find the box that says like reload skin. When you change the settings, tick that and all of a sudden, all of the attributes are gone and you're playing the game attribute free, which means you're working with your scouts and staff star ratings and you are working with scouting reports to tell you what players are good at. You can also still see the development of a player over time, which is obviously good and helps you tailor training. You still want to see the arrows and you can tell somebody has been improving at something without knowing the actual number. Will I play a save like this at some point? Probably. And a huge pro is this is the most realistic way to play football manager. You are working based off of your knowledge of watching matches. A huge con is that when you have this, 
case, there is absolutely no reason to skip friendlies, to skip literally any match you could possibly watch so that you can actually observe their players. And the second huge con is that Football Manager is not meant to be entirely realistic. I am not showing up to training every day to see how good these players are. To make Football Manager realistic, in my mind, I've always imagined myself in the game as something of a savant. Like, I am this genius that can immediately diagnose the talents of players. And that's what makes me the greatest manager of all time. Like that, right? But with an American accent, like, oh, I can diagnose a But in like cut off jean shorts, that's how I imagine myself. But the real thing is, and the, and the reason that con is there is because I'm not doing that. And so the attributes replace me actually going to training. And if you're playing with a no attribute skin, you're actually at a disadvantage from a normal real life manager because you have the same amount of information, but you do not have the opportunity to watch the players the same amount of time. You actually watch them a lot less only when they're playing in matches and friendlies, which are also matches, and you don't get to watch their training to assess their attributes. And unless you're an absolute psycho, you don't watch their matches at other clubs. Has anybody ever done that? Comment if you have ever watched another match to scout a player physically, because I would like to have you institutionalized on behalf of humanity. I will not judge you particularly if you play with all three, and I will likely continue to play with attribute masking on because that's just the way I love the game. But I have made this video almost expressly to defend the people that play with it off, to make you aware of the fact that you can play with it off, or you can play with no attributes at all if you're a psycho and, and enjoy the pain. If so, welcome. I'll see you in the Discord. I'll see you on stream. But you should feel good about it. It's fine and logically it makes the most sense to play without attribute masking on because we've all got other stuff going on. I even try to go on a walk once a day and leave this room, believe it or not. And I would love to be able to do that every day, which I'm not capable of. If I had attribute masking off, maybe I would be, but that's a me we could meet in the, <laughs> in the future. Zealand, touching grass. If you've enjoyed this though, here's a video where I give you my five tips that will make everybody better at Football Manager right now. So you can just keep that learning curve I mean, it's football managers, so it goes like this, but up.